everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am really sad because I am doing a book review on this book right here by Reese Bowen, The Victory Garden. And the reason I'm sad is because I did an interview with her and it was on the phone and I have this little like a tape recorder app, right? And I taped it and it didn't, it didn't work. And you know, we rely on technology so much. Like I have somebody working on it and they're trying to retrieve it, but it's taking forever. And this book came out on the 12th and I'm like, I just, I'm losing hope. Okay. It's so incredibly sad because we had such an amazing conversation, but today I was like, do a book review. And I, I don't even want to tell her. I don't even want to have to go through that again. And I've used the app since then and it's worked. I, I don't know. It just, it's sad. But this book is so good. I'm like, I can't not tell you anymore. And if it works, if they can recover it, I'll put it out there so you can listen to it. But we're just going to talk about the book. So Victory Garden. February 12th, Reese Bowen, standalone. She does a lot of series, but this is a standalone. I love her more than I can say. I will read everything she writes, okay? That's how much I love her. And I love talking to her so, so much. And she's, she's fun. But anyway, we are talking about World War I in this book, which I was so happy that she went back to World War I because I love her historical fiction. Um, so it starts in 1918 and we have Emily, right? I'm gonna bring my notes over because I can't even see them. I keep trying to, I keep thinking I can see them, but I can't, it's like I'm pretending. Uh, the beginning of the book, we're introduced to Emily. I love Emily so much, okay? Um, she also introduces us to Robbie, the little, handsome Australian guy that Emily meets who's in the Royal Flying Corps, which I didn't even know that during World War I that the Australian men were coming to help England because there were so many men in England they were losing. I, you know, we had an amazing conversation about this and she's way smarter about it. So I don't even want to act like I know what I'm talking about, but only because she told me, okay? And this is where Emily comes in. Because of all the men that were in war and that were dying, um, England was starving. So they started employing, I didn't want to say employing, women to garden, to make food, okay? So that England wouldn't starve. And Emily is one of those women. And they were part of the Women's Land Army, they call them. And, um... I don't know how much more I want to say because I don't like to give away anything. But Emily's story is like so full of hope. Okay. Um, that's why I loved her. I loved her strength. I loved her hope. I loved her never giving up. I, I, when I got to the end of this book, I felt like I had a lesson in like, I, I got done. I'm like, oh my gosh, I like learned so much stuff. And did you hear my phone go off? And it's all the way like across the room and I'm charging. <laughs> so it's the phone that just keeps giving back, right? I mean, especially during this when I'm so mad at it, right? But anyway, um, this book is number one on historical fiction for World War I, Kindle, Cozy Mysteries, and Books, Cozy Mysteries, because you know that Reese is like an amazing cozy mystery writer. And this one, I was like, I can't believe it put it in that category, but I can kind of see how it would. And, um, I just told her over and over again how much I loved her and how much I loved the character of Emily. I almost like, I have so many characters of Reese's that I like fall in love with and she just added another one to it. And um, I just want to tell you guys, you, you got to go get this book and just pray. Pray my, my interview gets brought back and, and when it does, I will post it and then you can hear her tell you about it. But five stars, I'd give it 10 if we could give it 10 because it's that good. And if you love World War I historical fiction, you will absolutely fall in love with this book. So thank you everyone for watching. Please hit like, please let me know if you read it. Let me know if you're going to read it and then let me know when you read it. So um, have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching.